How Dehydration Shrinks Your Brain and Hurts Your Performance Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to talk about something that affects almost everyone, especially in the summer heat, dehydration. You probably know dehydration can make you feel thirsty, dizzy, and tired, but did you know it can also affect your brain? In this video, I'm going to show you how dehydration can shrink your brain, impair your cognitive function, and even cause permanent damage if left untreated. First of all, what is dehydration? Dehydration happens when your body loses more fluids than it takes in. This can happen when you sweat a lot, exercise in hot weather, have diarrhea or vomiting or don't drink enough water. Even mild dehydration can cause a headache because your brain and other tissues in your body shrink, contract, when they lose water. As your brain shrinks, it pulls away from the skull, puts pressure on nerves, and causes pain. But that's not all. Dehydration can also affect your mental performance, mood, and memory. According to a recent study from the Georgia Institute of Technology in Atlanta, just a couple of hours of vigorous activity in the heat without drinking fluids or eating can greatly affect your concentration. The researchers found that dehydrated people made more errors on tasks that required attention to detail or were monotonous, such as punching a button in various patterns for several minutes. Functions such as complex problem solving, coordination, and attention suffered the most, while activities involving quick reactions weren't as affected. Why does this happen? Well, the brain is made up of about 75% water, so it needs water to function properly. Water helps transport oxygen and nutrients to the brain cells, remove waste products, regulate the balance of chemicals and hormones, and maintain the electrical activity of the neurons. When you're dehydrated, your blood volume decreases, which means less oxygen and glucose reach your brain. This can cause fatigue, sluggishness, impaired problem solving, reduced memory, loss of mental focus, depression, and altered mood. Studies show that even a 1% decrease in hydration can result in a 5% decrease in cognitive function, and a 2% decrease can result in short-term memory loss and difficulty with math computations. So how much water do you need to drink to stay hydrated? Well, that depends on many factors, such as your age, weight, activity level, health conditions, and the temperature and humidity of your environment. A general rule of thumb is to drink enough water so that your urine is clear or pale yellow. You can also check your skin elasticity by pinching the back of your hand. If it snaps back quickly, you're well hydrated. If it stays up for a few seconds or longer, you're dehydrated. But what if you're already dehydrated? How can you treat it? The best way to treat dehydration is to drink fluids that contain water, electrolytes, such as sodium and potassium, and carbohydrates, such as sugar. These fluids help restore the balance of fluids and minerals in your body and provide energy for your brain. These fluids include water, sports drinks, fruit juices, and oral rehydration solutions. You should also avoid caffeine and alcohol, which can make dehydration worse by increasing urine output and depleting electrolytes. If you have signs of severe dehydration, such as confusion or dizziness, get medical help right away. Dehydration is a serious condition that can have lasting effects on your brain and body. That's why it's important to drink enough water every day and especially when you're exposed to heat or exercise. Staying hydrated can keep your brain healthy and boost your performance. I hope you enjoyed this video and learned something new. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. And don't forget to leave a comment below and let me know what you think about dehydration and how it affects your brain.